Hi, welcome to one of a series of short reader's guide films from Plainfield Public Library's reference department. We hope you'll enjoy this reading guide for a subgenre of books. The following books are just a sample of what the library offers. You'll find a link to a printable PDF version of this guide in the description of this video. All the titles are available for free with your library card in a variety of formats. Please see the individual title listings for details. If any of the books interest you and you want to find out more, or if you have any other inquiries, you can speak with the librarian on 908 757 1111 extension 112 or email ref at plfdpl.info. If you want more time to read about a book on screen now as you watch, just hit pause. Now, please enjoy our reader's guide. We hope you find it useful. Animal Stars of Fiction and Film Sure to capture animal lovers, these stories in book and film formats feature plots that involve animals in many different ways. From spiders to horses to cats, these examples are just a starting point for exploring the world of animals through stories. Let's start with Charlotte's Web by E.B. White. This well-loved classic is one of America's top 100 most loved novels. Charlotte's Spiderweb tells of her feelings for a little pig named Wilbur, who simply wants a friend. They also express the love of a girl named Fern, who saved Wilbur's life when he was born the runt of his litter. Watership Down by Richard Adams Richard Adams's Watership Down is a timeless classic and one of the most beloved novels of all time. A band of rabbits, led by a pair of intrepid brothers, must flee their territory in search of a new home, safe from the encroachment of humans. Formidable Foes, a Mrs. Murphy mystery, by Rita Mae Brown. Mary Minor Harry Harristine and her pet sleuths uncover a rotten scan to dupe consumers when they discover that substandard produce is being passed off for organic upmarket groceries. This is the latest book in the Mrs. Murphy mystery series, number 29. Seabiscuit by Kathleen Kennedy Based on a true story, a half-blind ex-prize fighter and Mustang breaker team up, team up with a millionaire and his rough-hewn, undersized horse, Seabiscuit. The men bring Seabiscuit to incredible heights, helping to turn a long shot into a legend. Eventually, Seabiscuit earns Horse of the Year honours in 1938. The Horse Whisperer by Nicholas Evans Annie Graves has travelled across a continent with her daughter Grace and their wounded horse Pilgrim to the Booker Ranch in Montana. Annie has risked everything, her career, her marriage, her comfortable life, in her desperate belief that Tom Booker can help them. Eight Below by Frank Marshall Scientists and their Arctic guide who live and work in Antarctica have to leave their trusty sled dogs behind due to an accident and a swiftly moving storm front. Jerry Shepard, the guide, is determined to get back to his dogs. Meanwhile, the dogs have to survive in the harsh environment while they attempt to go home. Mrs. Frisbee and the Rats of Nim by Robert C. O'Brien Having no one to help her with her problems, a widowed mouse visits the rats whose former imprisonment in a laboratory made them wise and long-lived. This is a much-loved classic children's story that won a Newbery Medal Award for excellence in children's literature. Animal Farm by George Orwell a farm is taken over by its overworked, mistreated animals. With flaming idealism and stirring slogans, they set out to create a paradise of progress, justice and equality. The stage is set for one of the most telling satiric fables ever penned, a razor-edged fairy tale for grown-ups that records the evolution from revolution against tyranny to a totalitarianism just as terrible. Pride of Eden by Taylor Brown Ansi Caulfield rescues exotic big cats, elephants and other creatures for Little Eden, a wildlife sanctuary near the abandoned ruins of a failed de development on the Georgia coast. But when Ansi's polarised lion escapes and is killed, 
he becomes obsessed with replacing her, even if the means of rescue aren't exactly legal. Bird, Bath and Beyond by E. J. Copperman Kay Powell, theatrical agent to non-human clan animals, is babysitting, that is, bird-sitting, her client, a parrot named Barney. When the show's star is killed, investigators insist on interrogating the bird for information he clearly can't communicate. This is the second and most current book in the Agents to the Paws series. Zoo by James Patterson As coordinated attacks by animals against humans increase and escalate, young biologist Jackson Oz and ecologist Chloe Toussignon warn world leaders that soon there will be nowhere left for humans. This is book number one in the Zoo series. Life of Pi by Anne Martel Possessing encyclopedic intelligence, unusual zookeeper's son Pai Patel sets sail for America, but when the ship sinks, he escapes on a lifeboat and is lost at sea with a dwindling number of animals, until only he and a hungry Bengal tiger remain. Prey by Linda Howard Montana wilderness guide Angie Powell wants nothing to do with ex-soldier Dear Callahan, especially as she blames him for her failing business, but she has to put her feelings to one side when they are suddenly thrust together to stop an animal with a thirst for blood of a human variety. The Tower, the Zoo and the Tortoise by Julia Stewart Chaos reigns over beefeater Balthazar Jones's life at the Tower of London as he watches his marriage fall apart, loses his beloved pet tortoise and is assigned the task of housing the Queen's assortment of animals. The Preservationist by David Main No or Noah's family is trapped on an ark with thousands of animals with no experience of feeding or caring for them and no idea of when the waters will recede. What emerges is a family caught in the midst of an extraordinary biblical event, with all the tension, humanity and even humour that that implies. Any Small Thing Can Save You by Christina Adam Medieval bestiaries were instructional works gathered from the fables and tales told by travellers. They described beasts and fish and fowl that few had ever seen. For the characters in Christina Adams's Any Small Thing Can Save You, each animal that passes through their world reflects a measured truth about love. One Good Dog by Susan Wilson Doing a favour for a homeless shelter's administrator, Adam takes on a rescued pit bull that had once been used in dogfights. The last thing Adam wants is a dog, but Chance helps Adam learn what is truly important and Adam rescues Chance from the brutally short life of a fighter. Dead on the Vine by L. Brooke White This is book number one in the Finn Family Farm mystery series. Charlotte Finn never wanted to inherit the family's produce farm. Her hopes of a quick sale succumb to a killing frost when she finds a dead body entwined supine in the tomato vines. Eventually, she turns to her pig for help solving the mystery. Moonlight Over Manhattan by Sarah Morgan When dog walker Harriet meets her newest client, exuberant spaniel Maddie, she adds an extra challenge to her list dealing with Maddie's temporary dog-sitter, gruff Dr. Ethan Black, and their very unexpected chemistry. Sounder by William H. Armstrong Angry and humiliated when his sharecropper father is jailed for stealing food for his family, a young black boy grows in courage and understanding by learning to read and with the help of the devoted dog Sounder. This title won the John Newbery Medal for Children's Literature. Mouse, Volume 1, by Art Spiegelman The author-illustrator traces his father's imprisonment in a Nazi concentration camp through a series of disarming and striking cartoons arranged to tell the story as a novel. 
The characters in this graphic novel are portrayed as various animals. This is book number one of the series. The Secrets of Bones by Kylie Logan This is the second and latest book of a new series. Jazz Ramsey borrows a seasoned cadaver dog from a friend for a career talk at a school. She hides a few bones in the school for Gus to find. Gus finds the hidden bones, but then heads to a door. When it's opened, a human skeleton is discovered. This is book number two of the Jazz Ramsey series. Cat Me If You Can by Miranda James Charlie Harris and his feline companion, Diesel, take a bookish vacation but discover that murder never takes a holiday in this all-new installment of the New York Times best-selling series. This is book number 13 of the Cat in the Stacks series. <laughs> 